Ladies and gentlemen, this is your reaction, and this is miscellaneous miss Narcissus. Narcissus? I don't know. You know his name, you know his personality disorder, but you don't know his story, especially not the gay bits. Honestly, how many times are we going to be surprised when a Greek myth turns out gayer than we learned in the middle school? Remind me to tell you guys about Callisto sometime, okay. The ancient Greek dating sim has a hidden character stat. How much does a Aphrodite like me? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Which determines the trajectory of the entire game. It's impossible to predict what will endear her to you and what will piss her off. Yeah, okay. So Narcissus or whatever, I can't pronounce his name. Uh, it's the, this is where the narcissistic disorder comes from. So I guess it's the guy who's gonna, I guess, you know, love himself more than anything else. Alright, it's gonna be fun. I didn't know narcissistic disorder comes from a Greek myth or something, but apparently that is. Yeah, you know, I love Orly Sarcastic Proxen. This is one of the best videos I react to, especially the Greek mythology is just awesome. Uh, you know, I would react to do lots of videos from this channel already. If you haven't seen them, check out the cards. There's a place to create for it. Orly Sarcastic Proxen reacts and something like that. Lots of time, you know, I upload videos more than three in 24 hours. And sometimes people don't get notifications. So you might have missed some videos. So check out the playlist. Check out the playlist too, like Internet Historian, CGP Grey, Cus Gazan, Nutshell, Tier Zoo, Real Life Lore. And yeah, let's do this one. I should make a Greek mythology dating sim. I mean, hell, it almost literally writes itself. Want to date Helen of Troy? Only if you don't mind pissing off the entire population of Greece. Want to date Achilles? Only if you don't mind the game constantly hitting you over the head with how dead you are every chapter. If you play as a girl, you've got the constant threat of Zeus or Poseidon taking a liking to you, plus Hera may be trying to kill you, depending on how far that gets. And no matter what gender you pick, there's about a 10% chance of Apollo randomly falling in love with you and getting you killed on principle. There's almost too much material to work with, but if there's one simple, absolute truth of the ancient Greek dating world, it's that you should absolutely never try to date Narcissus. Doesn't matter what you do, that boy is nothing but bad endings so through the conveniently multiple choice medium of simulated video games let us you know what i really want her to make this game i'm not gonna lie because knowing her knowledge on this subject it would be so awesome the level of details she would have put let's explore the deservedly tragic tale of greece's most ineligible bachelor and the numerous ways he broke hearts and lives throughout the greek mythosphere now choose your character Welcome to Ancient Greek Mythology. You are Echo, a lovely nymph with an unfortunate speech impediment due to a long and varied history of playing wingman to Zeus by distracting Hera with colorful tales so Zeus could pursue mortal women in peace. Hera finds. Wait a minute. See, her job, her entire job is basically distracting Hera so Zeus can basically fool around, around her back. Damn, that is just effed up. This is an accomplice, apparently. Finally got tired of your shenanigans and cursed you to only be able to repeat what you've just heard. This has rendered you incapable of confessing your love straight out, and you must instead wait for your beloved to use some words you can remix into a love confession. Echo is basically hard mode in this analogy. Conveniently, you are in love with Narcissus, a beautiful and skilled hunter who loves nothing more than to talk about how pretty he is. With material like this to work with, it's no trouble at all to construct a suitable confession. But here's the big problem. Narcissus may be sexy and he knows it, but he's got no interest in sharing it with the rest of the world. And while characters like Artemis and Athena set a mythological for Artemis, okay. Man, what a tool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, this is all a myth. But imagine if all of this were real. But in reality, this is how it all went down. All the Greek gods were like this. They were acting like this. So, only sarcastic production is not really early. This is how it all was. How funny it would be. Look at that. Man, what a tool. Mm hmm. <laughs> For the perpetually single, it's not that Narcissus isn't into people like that. He's just way too arrogant to ever feel like anyone's worth his time. Narcissus rejects your confession and crushes your spirit, leaving you to pine away endlessly. Without love, life is like the seasons with no summer, and stripped of your future romantic prospects, you waste away to nothing until only your voice remains. So here's what happens next. Wait a minute, so her curse is that she repeats the last two words, what she just heard. So how do you know uh, that she loves Narcissus and not just repeating the guy that she's just hearing? Hmm. <gasps> well 
Welcome to ancient Greek mythology. You are Amenius, a strapping young lad. And because this is ancient Greece, you want nothing more than to get with another strapping young lad and live out the rest of your days together until one of you dies, probably tragically, and most likely prompting the other to go on a deadly murder spree to carve out their vengeance in Trojan blood. Unsurprisingly, you and every other dude on the block are in love with Narcissus, a beautiful and skilled hunter who loves nothing more than himself. While he's so far turned away every other suitor who's come to his doorstep with anguished declarations of love, you've polished your declaration to a mirror shine. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you miss the sign? I only speak to tens. Oh god, I already hate him. <laughs> the way every other suitor who's come to his doorstep with anguished declarations of love, you've polished your declaration to a mirror shine and are confident he'll be swayed by your words. Unfortunately for you, Narcissus may be sexy and he knows it, but the only use he has for mirror shine things is admiring his own beautiful face. He soundly rejects your shiny declaration, and on top of that, he sends you an equally shiny sword and- Understand this must be devastating. Go put yourself out of a misery. Really? Not so subtly tells you to use it to put yourself out of your misery. Without love, life is rock and roll without a drummer, so you do so, putting a tragic end to your tragic tale with the compounded tragedy that you don't even have a pissed off indestructible boyfriend to avenge you. So you know what, maybe Artemis should have sent some boar or something to take out Narcissus. That would, have been, that would have been a better thing to do. Here's what happens next. No matter who tries to romance Narcissus, their brutal rejection and subsequent death catches the attention of Nemesis, the Greek goddess of revenge. Or more specifically, the deific embodiment of all those karmic punishments for hubris Greece is such a huge fan of. Fun fact, in some versions she's also the mother of Helen of Troy. So Nemesis sees Narcissus all hopped up on his own ego and playing fast and loose with the hearts and lives of those who love him, so she prepares a Hmm. Sorry, but disappointed. Albatross isn't my type. <laughs> suitably ruinous punishment for him. Since Narcissus loves his own face so much, she just draws his attention to a nearby reflective pool and lets his rampaging ego do the rest. Narcissus is entranced by his own reflection, but being that it's all ephemeral and non-physical and stuff, all he can do is pine from a distance until eventually he dies. Just like what he did to his suitors. Brutal. Also, as is fairly common for cute boys in Greek mythology, he turns into a flower upon dying, unsurprisingly, the Narcissus. I think the moral of this story is that Artemis had the right idea. In this game, the only way to win is not to play. Yeah, damn, so Narcissus was a myth, a Greek myth, and he was a massive dick. So where, that's where the narcissistic disorder comes from, apparently. Echo and Narcissus are documented in Ovid's Metamorphosis, but Amenias was a more recent discovery and is featured in Conan's Narrations, okay. Walked into a party. If you're interested in sources for whatever reason. Like you yeah. were walking onto a yard. You unlock the secret route by getting killed by Hera exactly 12 times during random Zeus based scenarios. Yeah, seriously. If if she makes a game, there should be a random encounter thing where Zeus just comes, you know, suddenly drops by unannounced and you know, oh shit, here, here you go. The game's about to be finished. If Zeus comes and goes, then Hera comes and the game is over. This allow you to open the underworld area and <laughs> to romance Hades of Persephone. Oh god, ah oh, man, she, she has to make this game, man. Your hat strategically dipped below one eye. If you romance Theseus, the bad news is he'll totally dump you on a deserted island. Yeah, but the good news is it opens up the Dionysus romance path and it's total sweetheart. Yeah. Your scarfed <laughs> was apricot. Actually, just don't date Theseus. He's pretty much a human disaster. Everything he touches dies. Yeah. You had one eye in the mirror. Damn, this is a great video. Narcissus. Hmm. I never thought the narcissistic disorder would have come from Greek myth, but apparently there you go. All right, people. If you like medics, don't forget like and subscribe. Check out the rigs I did. There's a link in the description. Check out the cards for all the playlists. Check out the end cards. And if you want to react to any other video from this channel or any other, I guess comment down. And I'll see you next time.